Hey guys, what is up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to make an advanced FNAF game. Alright, let's just get straight into it. So, first what we're going to do is make a backdrop and fill it in completely black. Just make a huge, huge black square and center it. And then what we're going to do is write something like made by whatever ever. And I'm going to write made by, oh my god. Okay. And in, oh wait, in uh, whatever writing you want, I'm going to do pixel and do made by, and then do the colons, and then I'm going to write gaming. Productions made by Grit Gaming Productions. All right, so now that we have that, you want to create a new backdrop that is again filled in black all the way to give it a creepy look. I mean, like, FNAF is a creepy game, or it's supposed to be a creepy game. And then what we do, um, all right, I, no, you know what? I'm gonna give, like, um, one of those vertical gradient thingies, and then change this to gray. And this to red. So I have that. Wait. Yes. Like that. And wait. Wait a minute. Yes. I'm going to do that. And... No! Okay. And then do that. That looks awesome. Then have some text saying this game contains flashing lights. Flashing lights, blood, blood, and, uh, guys, I'll figure out what to write in a second here. Alright, guys, I'm back, and, um, Alright, this is what I wrote. You can write whatever you want, but this is a warning. So, so far, what you want to do is, <clears throat> once I click, you want to, wait, wait, wait. You also want to make a new backdrop, and then do, you want to fill it? in no just fill it in black all right fill this whole thing in black and yeah all right and then you want to change that to one two three point three two all right whatever so you want to switch backdrop to the first one and then wait one second 
or and then do you want to repeat ten times um change your um ghost effect by ten. So what this would do is make a fade out and I will change this so it is slower here and then you want one when, when flag clicked you want to set all your ghost effect to zero yes all right um that is good and then you want to repeat 20 and then you want to switch backdrop to backdrop 2 and basically repeat that so you want to switch backdrop to your second backdrop and do negative 5 Let's see if that works yeah it does, except you would want to delay in there instead of making it go so fast. So you like just, you can make it wait like a second, four seconds, alright, uh, 0. 0.4 seconds. Alright, that's good. Now you want to duplicate all this code. I'm going to duplicate this here, and then, so if it switches to backdrop, hmm, wait, alright, that's the second backdrop, and then, I'm going to do that, and, wait a minute, there's something wrong here, I have three backdrops. Alright, and then switch backdrop to, yes, this, and, wait, let's see what this does. Okay. Wait. A minute. Oh. Alright, so I wasn't doing anything wrong. It's just... Okay, that goes right there. Wait one second. Repeat 20 times. And then switch backdrop. To, all right, see, and then you want to create another backdrop. That is another blank square. Okay, so... I'm going to rename all of these backdrops, they're not confusing. One, two, three, and four. Alright, and then, so, switch backdrop to the third one. Alright, and then do that. Alright, wait, let's see if it works. Hmm. Wait. So it repeats 20 times. It changes the ghost effect by 5. Hmm. Alright guys, I'll be back in a second and see what's wrong with my code. Alright guys, so there's this bug in Scratch. or I don't know if it's in Scratch or it's just me. But this would be the code you have to do without this comment this would be the code you have to do here and if you guys can figure something out why don't you comment down below and if i can something figure and if i can figure something out i'll tell you in the next part here but so what you should have is that yeah see that's the glitch so it's not really that smooth but then you want to paint a new sprite and then whatever you want to call your game 
I'll just call it. I'll just call it. Oh wait. Put the night at at, at rods ice at rods ice cream ice cream shop. The night at Rod's ice cream shop, and then you wanna just you know center it, and then do one fly click. Go to wait, wait, wait. And for the backdrops here, mm, you need to um after that broadcast message. Starting game. Alright, I said starting gamer, but whatever. One flag clicked hide. Wait, first set the size to. Fifth. Set the size to 10. Hide it. And then. When I receive starting gamer or game, you wanna. Change size by 10. So if we run it here by gaining productions, what just happened? Starting. Oh, you want to do forever. Prefer right there. So now if we run it, you're gonna. What? Oh! My bad. You want to put a show right here. Okay. So now... Yes, except that's a bit too fast. So... You're going to wait like... 0 0.8 sec seconds. And then do if... Size, so you want to put a equal right here, and then do size. <clears throat> if size is equal to, or, great, or greater than, if, um, it is size is equal to 50 or if it is greater than or if size is greater than then 100 <coughs> you wanna <coughs> set size to 100 Alright, let's see if it works. Oh god, no, this is too slow. Okay, except, why well, not? Just don't put that zero. Don't put that seconds right there. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Alright, that is, guys, that is it for this video. And if you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you can receive notifications whenever I post new videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!